Oh, it smells like beef stew in here. It's making me sick and hungry at the same time. Okay, there's two. Go like this. It's a ton of fun, trust me. Places you die there? Come on.
An extra bundle of gems to the little champion who brings that hat in. I think you should pick cool and good things, and not dumb and stupid things.
That A plus is so close I can taste it and it tastes good. Get the best time to win. Get the worst time to lose. Numero uno. Yeah. 
Sure is a mystery. It vexes me so. It truly does. But where did it come from? Well, children, some say the hat was blessed by a voodoo witch doctor and then cursed by another voodoo witch doctor like 20 minutes later. Others claim Perham was adventuring through the treacherous caves of the Nightmare Princess when he found the hat perched atop a giant ruby. A ruby that naturally formed into the shape of a skull. A human skull. Ah! But you know what I think, children? I think the hat is haunted by all the souls of its previous owners, all of their dreams and failures mashed together in a frantic, poisonous scramble of grumpiness and conflicting viewpoints. But I'm the dumb one, right? I mean, you got these voodoo nightmare princess thingies, easily the biggest crocs of sh stuff I've ever heard in my entire life, but I'm the dumb one, that's fine. And not just anyone can don the hat, you know. It calls out only to those who embody the exemplary qualities required. Charity, bravery, handsomeness, gentlemanity, inoffensive smell, ETC, and of course, proper head size. Guess that explains why cats can't wear it. Plus, whoever heard of a cat in a hat? That's preposterous. And heavy weighs the crown. He who wears the hat calls the shots and in a time long forgotten maintained balance and ensured that everyone was plump and happy and wanted for nothing. But all good things come to an end, children. Well, that's not entirely true. I, I figure pizza will always exist. But this hat, let's just say its days of benevolent guidance are long over with. You might as well flip it over and use it as a toilet. I mean, Hattie hasn't lifted a finger to spread the wealth or encourage smiles and the theater staff is really starting to feel unappreciated. Oh, oh, look! This smoldering unrest has given birth to a precious little storm cloud. Oh, look at his little raindrops. And if things don't change around here, this little cloud's gonna grow up into a big, giant, scary cloud and spray us all with a drenching downpour of horrifying madness. But don't lose sight of your mission. Hattie needs you more than ever now. And I know things look bleak, but even the word hopeless has hope in it. Plus, if you rearrange the letters, it spells peace -losh. The last part was probably unnecessary, I'm sorry. Find the gems and put them in your pocket. Then find the door and you can unlock it. Be very careful! Use us all with your amazing gem finding abilities. You do! You truly do!
What'd you do that for? Doesn't this look like a whole lot of fun? Yeah. Come on, bleh. There's an A plus, but don't bother. It takes talent.
I hear. It's okay if you do too. Gracious. Badge. Ding! Oh, 
Don't lose your head! No, don't die! What'd you do that for? That's not good. Very, very good. Your favorite head face and weapon tool. I would love to tell you where they put the gems, but I'm not gonna. Very, 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 very careful. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs>
one mine. I'm saying. Well then. Salvation lies in that tiny green
do know there's an A+, plus, right? For a gem bonus and a kiss yeah. from a very handsome man, me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Everybody in the pool! Ouch! How do they float like that, huh? Place safe. 